Oh, really? Just slide it. There you go. Oh, he got it. Oh. Yeah, but. All right. <laughs> got one. Oh, it's so gorgeous, though. Yeah, this thing just goes over rocks like they're nothing. <laughs> that was a really good finish. Saddle company, I kind of came up to them and approached them because I've broken three of these because they're, they're designed to flex yeah, back here. Yeah. Uh-huh, and uh, they're just like, man, you're just not having a good time. Well, we're going to give you this one and we're going to send you another one to your house. I'm just like, really? Okay. Well, that definitely helps. So uh, hopefully this one doesn't break. They were probably like really plus like your old brakes. Yeah, definitely. Like, oh yeah, take those things off. Here's it, a new set of MT8. No uh, way. Full blown downhill brake. Wow. Yeah, my buddy had a, a one up dropper post that was being weird on him. And they just said that they're going to send him a brand new one. That's, that's cool. Nice. Yeah, definitely the whole atmosphere. I was getting a headache by the third or fourth day though. Just all the sun? The sun, the people, yeah. Uh, I was there for about three and a half. Yeah. Hello, thank you. Have a good run. Yeah, last time I just went for the day. Got up real early, tried to get there at seven. And that was just a bit of a hassle, so. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'll do it right this time. Man, shit, I haven't seen you for a while, so. I had, I had a fire cell for like the last year and a half. Oh, wow. I was just fucking doing everything on that thing. Yeah. So, uh, then I was just like, all right, yeah, it's time to get a full suspension again. Yeah. And this is like the cheapest route, so. Okay. Hey, it's cool. I like it a lot. It's really fun. Yeah. How's the rain been? You've had it for a good bit now. Yeah, I've had it over a year. It's been a really good bite. Yeah, I miss my rain. Pedals, pedals good. Uh, it just demolishes everything. Yeah. That's like, you got yours, like when they started to build them out, it's super cool. Yeah, they started doing the, the trunnion mount and the, uh, the longer reach. Right yeah. Are you gonna do any of the racing this year? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do Ashland. Nice, that's a good one. Yeah, it's on my birthday. Oh, no way. Yeah, so I signed up within like two minutes. So they, they put a, a wall up where the shortcut is, just so you know. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's the first time I ran the full time camp. Yeah. Really? Forever ago. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I mean, I built this thing up like maybe two months ago. Uh huh. It's still pretty fresh. Yeah, I like the parts you got. Yeah, it's um. Flow rims, deep yeah, i9 hubs, and. Pretty, pretty uh. 
fox. Way better, way better than this stuff. Dude, that stuff's solid. Are you kidding me? I like it a lot, actually. You do? Yeah. Okay, we can like, trade. Like, <laughs> it is uh, really good. Like, it's really good. It gets you, like, 85, 90% of the way up. Yeah. So he started this food truck called Delicious Foods, and he's making, like, Michelin star meals out of a taco truck or a food oh. truck. Super cool. So people are starting to pick up on it, and I think he's doing okay. He's re working really hard. Yeah. Oh my god, that's mosquito hell. Move away. Oh. Yeah, so he's working super hard and he's living up at Montrose. Uh, he doesn't have a mountain bike yet though. Oh no. He sold it way long ago. Oh my god. I've been hoping that he gets one so we can go ride. You don't get too hot in the full face? Oh yeah, do I sweat like a dog. <laughs> Dude, actually hold on, time out. You had kind of a rough patch there for a minute. Yeah, last year. Yeah, what happened? I, I know you broke some stuff, but then when I texted you, you mentioned some other stuff. Huh? It was right after my North Star race. It was my first race, or my first ride since the race. Uh -huh. Just flowing and he was moving. And I was trying to keep up with my gimbal. and um, It got a little bit dusty for just a moment. And then I think I hit like the edge of the trail where it was like leaves and washy. Yeah. As soon as I touched, my front wheel just turned and I was in the air flying and just like hit head first and back. And I didn't have a backpack on, I had my hip pack on. And I just heard crunch and oh, really? my wrist was broken. I cracked a couple ribs, bruised my lung. I, I tried to walk it out and like come down a little bit on the mountain. And then dude, it just kept getting worse. Like my insides and I couldn't breathe. Adrenaline's starting to wear off. They had to come up. Get, you got wheeled out. They got me on a stretcher. They had this like one wheel thing that they balanced me on yeah, and took cool. me down the rest of the trail, got me in an ambulance, took me to the hospital, and then they did the MRI and found out that it was a couple cracked ribs, bruised lung. It wasn't broken and nothing was penetrating, thank God. Oh, so like what? four weeks to six weeks, it felt like forever. Yeah, I'm sure. And so that wasn't too bad. And then as soon as I got back to work, planned out my whole month. And then next morning I was calling my boss because I thought I had food poisoning. I was in the hospital uh -huh. in the emergency room because my stomach hurt so bad. And it turned out that my appendix was about to ex explode. So then they had to go in my stomach, pull out my appendix. That's another four week recovery. And honestly, when I look back, I'm glad that my crash happened and then that happened. Cause literally within like a month and a half, two months, like I got all of that out of the way at once. And then I was able to return to work. It wasn't like, I'm on and then I'm off again like six months later. So yeah. just got it all out of the way. Well, yeah, the um, third uh, ruptures of appendix are nothing to fuck with. Yeah, they said that if we don't take this out, you can die. I'm yeah. just like, huh, yeah. all right, well, there goes that option. Take it out. Yeah, exactly. Too. Maybe next time. Yeah. <laughs> you know which one? I've been able to get this one. Maybe like once a year. Maybe. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, but. All right. <laughs> Got one. Oh, it's so gorgeous though. A little slippy. Yeah. 
Yeah, buddy. Oh really? Just slide it. There you go. Oh, he got it. <laughs> Split flash. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing my parents never let me do was motocross. Uh, my mom had two brothers that were motocross racers. Dude, I have fucked myself up on a bicycle way more times than I want to dirt bike. Really? Way more. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, because they uh, they have like metal plates in their knees and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, like her experience with motocross was hell no. Even just go karting, my mom was like, mm, like mm. I don't know. I love this trail. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, sir.
That turn's getting real cool. So that turn's getting hella cool. Yeah, it is. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, I've almost gone off that bridge so many times. Yeah. So wishy washy there. It's a large Bronson. It's like a large Bronson, wow. Yeah, yeah it feels nice and tight and nimble. I did not, actually, I just thought about it being a 29er. It didn't even phase me for two seconds. <laughs> yeah, it feels fine. I mean, it's got like nice and short uh, chain stays. Uh huh. So it's not bad at all. So it's pretty playful and flickable. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, for a 29er, man. It feels just like a, can, a normal you bike. Can, you can feel the flatness in the, in the climbs. Oh, uh, you mean the head angle? Yeah, like how flat it is. Yeah. But no one ever said it climbs amazing. Yeah. Yeah, this thing's just meant to be fun. See, the 29er comes at 150, 130. Uh huh. And so I did bring my fork down to 140. Oh, you did? Yeah, it's 140, 130. So what's the head angle then? Like 65 and a half then? It's just like 64. So with the travel down? Yeah. It's a little bit slacker or steeper? A little steeper, yeah. Yeah. So it just makes it a little bit more friendly on the climbs. Yeah. But it's still point slack. Yeah, I mean, that thing's like seven, uh, 64. Yeah. Because yeah. that's got a 170 on it. 64 and a half, I think. Yeah, I feel like this thing feels, I mean, in reach similar to that. Yeah, I mean, that's... I feel like maybe if I roll my bars a little bit more forward, it might feel like this more. Yeah, yeah, I have my bars kind of forward. Yeah, I have mine a little back. Yeah, it feels similar in size. Yeah, actually, like, I can feel how compact it is under me, too. Yeah, on the, the climbs, it's, like, pretty comfortable. Like, the C-tube angle is pretty steep. Oh, really? So it's... What is it? Really? Yeah. yeah, I can tell my knees are like much more over my pedals than behind them. Yeah. That thing's like a 73. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, so, it, like, it helps with the... If that. Really aggressive geometry on the climb. Okay, yeah. Yeah, this thing feels cool. Yeah, feels super playful for a 29er. Yeah, it doesn't feel bad at all. And I'm not... The biggest guy. Yeah. So like a big wheel, like momentum advantage on big. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to put much power in and you're already moving. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I've never been uh, super in touch with my suspension until you too. Yeah. I'm definitely more like a set and forget kind of guy. Yeah, you just put it you just put it right in the middle. Yeah. I like it though. The way you the way you have this set up is perfect. I don't like it too springy. I don't like it too uh, too soft. Yeah. Pretty simple. Yeah, this is a cool bike. It doesn't feel too heavy either. It's a uh, 31 inch. Yeah, that one's like 35. I feel like a, a heavy bike feels better on the though. Yeah, much more stable. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this thing just goes over rocks like they're nothing.
Hey there. Nice, got it. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> that was a really good finish.